I jumped out of all here, and today we've got a seven year disaster battle playing as Reichland going up against Crooked Moon. And uh, they've got about a stack and a half. There's a lot of garbage in there, but there's a lot of heroes, and that's where this guy's had a lot of trouble with. So, in his email, he attached an image of how he managed to do in his battle, so I'll show that here. Um, basically, he said that uh, the heroes just totally wrecked his heroes, and then after they were gone, they just rolled right over the rest of his army. So we're going to take this from a different approach. Also, um, if you do want to send in like a screenshot of your attempt, feel free to do so. But if you don't want me to show it in the video, just let me know as well. Um, um, I don't know if you guys appreciate seeing that as well. I just thought I'd do that in this case here. People have sent in screenshots in the past, but yeah, I just didn't know whether or not to uh, show it. But I thought it'd be good to put some context in here. Yeah, so in this situation here, we don't have hero killers. So, if I've said this a lot, but if you can't do something, don't try to do it, okay? What's the strength of our army here? It's, it's an infantry killer army. So let's focus on what we can do. Let's do that really well, and then hope that the army loss penalty will be inflicted so that we just don't have to deal with it all, at all. So, yeah, if you try to do everything, you might end up failing. That's kind of what the army loss penalty is there for. So you can just get rid of the units that you just can't really deal with very well. Wow, that's a really foggy map. Um, okay. So, what we're gonna... Ooh, that's interesting. What we're gonna do here, just ignore them. I'm gonna set up in a formation over here and bomb this right at the start like crazy. Yep. These guys here... We don't want to put our troops in front of the Hailstorm rocket batteries because they'll obstruct them. The Empire and yours. take the flanks there, and we'll put the heroes defending the Hillstone rocket batteries. Now, they could charge down here and hit us, but we'll obliterate them if they do that. Um, really, their best hope is to try to get the heroes over here before the army loss penalty is inflicted. That's really the best Swordsman. thing to do. And what I'll do here is get this wizard up there to cast the Burning Head. Not to overcast the anything, but if we cast the Burning Head, it will... Um, cause leadership penalties, just get them off the battlefield. Fire at the ground, I just want to inflict as much damage as possible. I'm good over here, I need to cast the burning head while they're not big cluster. They go for kills. Kill, 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 that seems to do well. Yeah, just, that's it. Just route them off the battlefield immediately. With that low leadership units. If we do this, we may not even need to deal with their heroes. Look at it all. It's all just routing. Bounce of power immediately in our favor. To battle. They might still rally. Some of them are running up the battlefield. Okay. Um, they're coming around over this way. Let's organize accordingly. Okay, might be a good idea if we turn around. So the Caribou Greatsword should probably be our best bet against these heroes. And the infantry, and they're all. Just that I have. They're all small units. Here, yeah, that's our best bet. Weapons prime. What do you think? Uh, very great sword over there. Don't blow up too much. If they yes, want to resource with our infantry instead, that's fine. That's not great there. Really like right. to oh, Rick's too much. That's power's looking good. Fire. Right, I'm gonna try one in there. Alright, we gotta get rid of these trolls here. Sigma guide our fire. I speak, you act. Take the ground. Good number of kills on 
him. Not go because he put the truck in there. Where it is. No, they did. Uh, they totally wrecked that. You know, it's, at least it's only in the source now. I tried to dodge it somewhat, but it didn't really work. Alright, let's pop down to the other Gotta be careful that we don't inflict too much friendly fire on our own troops. Through to cannons! I am a fire ransom! Overcasting it because we don't really need to do it. Yeah. Great swords! Swords, Sigma! Okay, all the crossbows are shooting at good targets. What is this? Oh, that's Gas Nick. I've a real damage. Yeah, he's not wrong. They do that last night, though. Okay. That's good. Swordsman! Crossbows ready, General! Ready for war! Okay, now the problem here is that we've run out of good targets for our, um... Take the ground! Summon fire! For our, uh, um, We do not want to blow up our own units over here. Swordsman! Oh, reserves coming in over here. Our weapons are yours! The Empire is yours! He was not wrong about their heroes being a problem. At all. really giving us a hard time. The rest of their army. Artillery! Crank that machine! That's Quick a good use fire, boys. Crossbowman! Okay, get rid of those trolls there. Sigma call! Sigma command! Just gotta cause that army losses now. Right, these guys here stop shooting. They just don't have any good targets at the moment. What? Get everybody to turn around and try to shoot his casting, because that's probably where the most bounce is coming from. Get these guys. If I take them off, we might end up losing them. lose a lot of bounce power, but that's okay. Put them back on in a moment. I just need them to get away from his casting gear. Load it, sir! Take position! He's having a hard time. Because, yeah, they won't get friendly fire. They won't, um, won't try to use them. I'll get them back in there. Yes, sir. Quick march for the comet. Ready. Moving now. All right, their army's pretty much gone. It's all just the heroes now. All right, artillery. If you just jump back on the the uh, the thing now, I reckon we'll inflict the army losses. We just have to get them away from here. Understood. For Heldenhammer! They're into fire. Ready for war! Our bounce power will skyrocket back up, I hope. For Heldenhammer! You gotta shoot at him. And there it is. There's the army. There we go. But yeah, without a doubt, those heroes, big problems. None of our guys die. You took the beating, though. Yeah, make sure Skarsnik dies. I don't believe we're actually attacking the settlement there. And we'll just keep casting fireballs. Then we'll kill them. Okay, you still got another battle to do after this. That one's almost dead. Probably best if we could finish him off. Not essential. We're never going to catch up to them. Skarsnik does tend to have a lot Hopefully we catch him before he runs off the battlefield. I have a feeling I'm not going to. Come on. No, I'm not going to Get away there. Alright, well next time you have to fight Skarsnik, it's not going to be that bad. Standing by. Zero. These we guys are anyway. Sigma's heirs! Bright Wizard! Definitely don't want to overcast now and run the risk of miscasting. We are Sigma's heirs! Wait, we're both of them there. Take aim! 
But yeah, we don't have enough speed to catch up to any of them. There's no way we can. Uh, I guess we can use this. It's not going to do much damage. It doesn't matter if we get a Pyrrhic victory or whatever here. Probably going to get one anyway. So. I wouldn't normally have them shoot it, but there's no other time to shoot it. Scarsnik got away. No way we'll catch up. And yeah, just try to do as much damage to these heroes as possible so that in the next battle, because their their actual army has been obliterated, just a couple of fireballs should get rid of a couple of them, and then the crossbows will hopefully do the rest. Alright, that's probably the best we can do. Then. So yeah, the key to this one was fo definitely big focus fire on that infantry because uh, we didn't kill any of their heroes until after the battle was over and they if like if they fought to the death they might have gotten us because we just weren't doing any damage to them but we inflicted the army loss penalty on them because they lost all of their infantry so yeah they lost some guys it was after the battle but uh, most of their heroes actually survived all right so honestly your punishment shouldn't matter what does the emperor bid? take them down so yeah you went for that army there which was a good call and then we've also got to go for finishing the job. For Heldenhammer! Which you could auto resolve, but you will definitely lose this guy and, and this one here. So let's try to get through this without losing them. Now the key here is to actually fireball them, because the Hellstorm rocket batteries will be able to handle the the enemy um, infantry quite easily. We're not gonna even see them. It's all gonna come down to just getting rid of all these heroes. Yeah, that's, that looks much better. Like, it was so foggy on that previous battle. Alright, so we'll set up here, um, like that. And yeah, once again, don't put your infantry units in front of the Elstrom Rocker batteries, unless you really want your infantry units to die. Let's go there. Let's go back. Great swords. So ideally these ones here won't even participate. We don't want to lose a single unit. We've got plenty of time to recover afterwards. In the meantime, focus on those fireballs. And we'll see how we go. Ready for war. So start taking out those heroes. They might cast back at us, but we'll be able to take a few of those shots. Alright, my big boss down. Faster. So yeah, it's obviously going to be an easy win, but like I said, just make sure that nobody gets wiped out. This car doesn't have much health either. Those wizards have a fair bit. about any of these troops, they are not going to make it here. There's no way. The Hillstorm Rocket Battle is a fair amount. Definitely don't want that big boss getting close to us. I'll sign in with this guy. Because it'll take probably two or three fireballs to take him out. No, I especially hit this one as well. Two of them at the same time, that's yes, a pretty quickly. bad idea. If it hits in the back, you fall on the ground. So, when they're casting at you, it's actually better to, to turn your back to them. That way, the first hit, uh, like, knocks you on the back, on the ground, and then the other ones can't do damage to you. Because you can't actually take damage while you're on the ground. Which is one of the reasons why Pink Shades doesn't do much damage to you. 
it, it lasts long enough that when they get back up, That's basically like the three of the army losses. Like, it hasn't quite met the conditions for army losses, but they've been absolutely smashed. No lingering. Use any uh, any attack on that. Ulrich Save it for the Archers. Pretty much the end of Scar's Neck. That was obviously the first army in the previous battle was still alive, and they'll attack you over the end turn, but you shouldn't need to worry about that too much. What we could have also done here is actually detached and reattached these heroes, would have restored their health, but didn't need to do that, and I wasn't thinking to do it either. Just, we, just, yeah, we just didn't need to. But in a desperate situation, I didn't do it. Um, I don't know what you want to do with the settlement. Um, I shouldn't have attacked this because I don't know what he wants to do. He could raise it, uh, loot and occupy it. Sacking gets for good money. He's doing well for that. Uh, from a strategic point of view, it could be good to use as a sack city. So, I mean, that would keep Skarsnik alive, but he'll never recover at this point. So, that's what I would probably recommend you do at this stage. Too See if we still got movement. Yeah, we still got movement. If you want to occupy it, you can still do that. I guess entirely up to you. But this is a really good sack city. And that way you can get a bunch of your lords the Skarsnik trait. But as long as you keep sacking this now, they are never going to recover. So I'll leave that up to you about what you want to do with it. These guys here aren't a real threat. Um, yep, that's sort of that situation. Now what will probably end up happening is these guys will come over here and capture it anyway. Warrior. And it might be better to do that. Because if you occupy the settlement here, it's hard to maintain public order. It's not a really good settlement to have anyway. Unless you are planning to go up to here. So either blow it up or keep sacking it. It's entirely up to you. Anyway, that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you.